Hi everyone here with <laughs> former WBO champ Demetrius Bubu Andrade. Demetrius, um, good to see you here today. You know, can you give us an update on what's going on with the fight with WBA champ Jack Colke? Um, it's pretty much going in the puss bid and waiting to see what um, that's in store. You know, we go go in there aggressive and try to bring the fight in the USA where it needs to belong and um, take that belt and on to the next. We definitely want to see that fight. Hopefully things get settled and, and we get, you know, all the information set. Uh, now tonight we're here, we watched Jamal Charlo take on Julian Williams. What was your reaction? <laughs> what was your reaction? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a good fight. Um, they both. I mean, the best man won that um, tonight, and I felt like you know towards the end of the fight for Charlo to did what he did. The disrespectfulness is to boxing is not cool. You know that's that that's like yo. You need to be humble because you know what. I'm going to be the one to do that. If you feel like yeah, that tough, you're unstoppable. Well, this press conference defense we're about to see, I'm gonna stand up and be like, yo, when we gonna fight? And let's see what they say. And let's see if it really happens after I handle Jack Coke. That, exactly. That that would be that would be a terrific fight. The, sh show them off. Show them off. <laughs> And now you you know you mentioned also that you've been interested in, in fighting Canelo. Is that still in the works at, at some point? Yeah, I'm. Um, you know, you know what Canelo's doing. I had the WBO belt around my waist. Um, I had the opportunity to fight Lima Smith. I thought that wasn't a, a great opponent for me that the people didn't want to see, and Canelo didn't want to do because he didn't care for no belts. Um, you know, my in inactivity got the belt stripped for me. All of a sudden, Canelo's like, hey, 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 let's go get that belt. But, um, you know, they just, I don't know, man, they avoided me. I just don't understand why. Like, we, we, can, we can make great his historic fights between Demetrius Andre, Canelo, Ch everybody. Like, everybody has to fight me to be, to say that they're the best. You know, I'm undefeated. I done fought um, plenty of good um, opposition. And I am want to continue to give the fans what they want. And that's them fights. And everybody keeps trying to avoid me. And we can't have the Canelo American, Canelo um, James Kirtland, now you got Canel you now you got Cotto and Kirtland. Like, yo, that's not that's not what nobody wanna see. Triple G versus Kel Brook. Like who wants to that's not boxing, man. That's not the best fight the best. Yeah, at four or five different weight classes, but that's not fair. So, I mean, I'm the best at 154. There's a lot of talent there, and them fights need to be brought to me, and I'm gonna bring them to the fans because that's what the fans wanna see. Demetrius Andre versus all them guys. I think you make an excellent point. With all due respect, I think you're uh, underrated. I think most people are, you know, uh, are avoiding you. You are, like you mentioned, undefeated and one of the most dangerous fighters in your division. Now, this year we saw you fight only once. You put up a show once a year. What can we expect? What's the plan for 2017? I know. I mean, I wish I was getting that, you know, Mayweather money to fight once a year, but I'm not. But I also <laughs> want to give the fans what they want. But um, 2017 is it's going to be Demetrius Andres' year. And from there on, because it's, it's that timing point where everybody kind of has been fighting each other and it's like, who else is there? Demetrius Andre. And now it's time for that to happen. We definitely can't wait. 2017, here we come. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank Demetrius you. Andre show. <laughs>